going on everybody? Today we are going to do the full review of the Klein Tools Resurgence knife. This also comes in drop point if you're not a Tonto fan. And there's a few different scale colors if you don't care for the tan. Now let me tell you, I am pleasantly surprised for this being a tool company knife. Uh, the build quality very much kind of reminds me of cold steel, glass reinforced, nylon scales, steel liner. But then you have the crossbar lock and the finger hole, very Spidoco-ish. It's the, the design of this knife really surprised me. And I really like to know who they corresponded with, if they have somebody in their company that's a knife guy or if they just outsource this design i'd be really curious to know because really it's very good for the money from a tool company and i'm really surprised like i said for i think it's 25 dollars d2 steel i mean very competitive um holds an edge really good i've used it a lot so let's get up close and personal right now. So here we are, the resurgence. Now we have seen many different knives over the years from such companies as Snap-on with various different knives out there. And let me tell you, like this knife here was probably literally a hundred or so dollars for this knife. Um, yeah, obviously smaller, doesn't even tell you what steel, made in China. The Klein Tools, I do believe, is made in Taiwan, whether, you know, that makes a whole lot of difference to you, uh, is to be questioned. Like I said, that's also why I think that this may have been made by a similar company that maybe makes cold steel knives, because it's very interesting just the quality in general just i don't know just really speaks to me the way they've done it but anyway yeah and other and knife companies like snap on now actually use hogue knives and their knives are like 160 dollars so there's a lot of different knives out there obviously husky i've done two um and i don't have yeah i do and then of course you have Hosky. I think this was like literally a fifteen dollar knife. Again, no real, just basic steel. God only knows what it is. But interesting. I mean, but I don't think it compares. You know, I mean, when you again, when you're talking about price, I think the Klein Tools really knocks it out of the park. It's very one-handed friendly, where this really isn't. So again, for the money, I think that the Klein Tools really is a really a hit for Klein. Um, the only thing I would say is I would love to see a bigger version. This is not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but for a tool company, some guys might want a, a little bit bigger knife, especially if you have a bigger hand. I have a medium size slim hand and you can see how it pretty much feels how it, I mean, looks in the hand. So if you have really big hands, big meaty hands, this is gonna feel really small in your hand. So a bigger knife selection option would be a little bit nicer too. But other than that, it feels really good in the hand. You have some jimping here, but it's, for me, it's really not too comfortable. You're kind of way back, kind of out of control in order to use that jimping. I'm, kind of sitting really kind of back and back on it i would much rather be a little more up here but anyway to each his own i guess uh, it is a personal preference of how you use a knife again like i said it forces you to kind of be a little bit back on it and it doesn't for me it doesn't feel too comfortable i feel like i want to be a little more a little more choked up so maybe if they had pushed it out a little bit more it would be a little bit more comfortable 
But again, that is personal preference. The hump here kind of keeps you in a certain spot. Plus where the jimping kind of forces you back. But all in all, the design and the build quality, very, very nice. Again, for the money, like I said, I think it's like 25 bucks. It's really not too bad. Very, very interesting. And like I said, it does come in a drop point in case you do not care for the Tonto. It does hold pretty much all of its thickness all the way out to the out to the tip. Has a thick, meaty tip, so you're not going to break it off very easily. Got a quick little chisel grind up there, flat and slight hollow, very slight hollow grind. But there you guys go. That is the Klein Tools Resurgence. Very much recommend it if you're a collector and or just looking for a less expensive knife. It's really sits good in the pocket, feels pretty good in the hand. It's fun to use. You got the center bar lock and a spidey hole. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll catch you next time.